Kelsey Metzger, WTAJ News. Thanks, Kelsey. We'll check back in. A 29-year-old woman from Altoona has been missing now since last Thursday night. Our Maria Elena Belor is caught up with Altoona Police today and has more on the investigation. She's live now with uh, the latest. Maria Elena? Carolyn, Lieutenant Jeffrey Pratt of the Altoona Police says Catherine Copley has been classified as a missing endangered person. Copley was last seen getting into a car around 4th Avenue and Crawford Avenue in Altoona around 10 p.m. on Thursday night. Her mom tells us that she left home without her cell phone and her wallet, and that's highly unusual. Police are considering this an ongoing investigation and are hoping to reunite Copley with her family. The time frame they're focusing on right now is between 9 and 9.30 on Thursday night, so anyone who might have interacted with her then or has seen her since is asked to contact police. Somebody out there knows what happened to Mrs. Copley or may know of her whereabouts currently and we're asking those persons to step forward and uh, you know do the right thing for her children and for the family. And I just want to know if she's safe and sound and at least give me a call or come home. We all want you to come home. Again, the Altoona Police is asking for anyone with information to come forward, whether it's calling the department or privately messaging them through Facebook. And we'll continue to keep you updated as this investigation continues. In the studio, I'm Marilena Baloris, WTAJ News. Good evening. Thanks for watching. I'm John Clay. Well, the husband of a woman who was found dead in Altoona in a garage or an abandoned home in June was arrested after a summary trial today. Catherine Copley went missing last December and was found dead six months later in a garage along East Pleasant Valley Boulevard in Altoona. Our Karina Chung joins us live at Central Court with why Michael Copley was there and why he left in handcuffs. Karina? John, Michael Copley was in court today for a summary trial for tearing down missing person signs of Catherine Copley back in March. Now today, he left the courtroom in handcuffs for a cost and fine bench warrant, meaning he failed to pay certain fines. Copley was there for a trial accused of tearing down missing signs along the 300 block of 7th Avenue Alley in Altoona. He pled not guilty, claiming he was with his boss that day. Thomas Boob, Catherine's father, testified against him, claiming he saw Copley tear down the posters and toss them in the trash. Judge Jeffrey Auker found Copley guilty and charged him with criminal mischief and ordered him to pay a $200 fine. We caught up with Catherine Copley's family, who were pleased with the judge's decision and seeing him walk away in handcuffs. I knew something was wrong with the flyers being torn down, and I don't think no one else would have done it. And I know how he played a role in what happened to my sister. He was ruled guilty in the court today that it shows that how guilty he was really tearing down those flyers. Catherine Copley's death is still under investigation by Altoona police. No suspects have been named or arrested. Michael Copley was released earlier today from the, the costs and fines office. He was not arrested with any charges stemming from Catherine's death. Live in Altoona, Karina Chung, WTAJ News.